All right, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922, Shinkiki no Kiyoshi Yo, man. Which studio? Like, is there anything you can't do? Like, like, well, what's the deal? You know, it's come to my attention that, uh, you need, we, I need to go to Japan, uh, go knock into their studio, and just bow. Yeah, bow. That, 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 that's what I need to do. <clears throat> go there, and I bow before the Japanese. Which studio? I just bow before them and say, please, it has come to my attention. I'm a huge Shingeki no Kyojin fan, and I must say, I will be your servant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will go that far. Because this episode, once again, once again, it's like, uh, they can do no wrong. Yeah, that's why I look at it. But yeah, let's get into this part. Um,. Shigeki no Kyojin, episode 20, um, this one was called Erwin Smith, yo, Erwin, I should let you know, I should let everyone know, I'm, I'm not going to spoil too much here, but I will say this, Erwin's bossness only gets better, from here on out, that's all I got to say, that's all I got to say. But yeah, pretty much in this episode, they caught the female titan. Yo. Uh, this is pretty crazy. I liked, you know what I literally liked about this episode? It revealed stuff that even I was shocked about. I was like, oh, that's why. Okay, I understand now. Because I was totally confused about this part of the manga. I was like, Huh? There. And I realized, no! Okay, so that's what happened. So, pretty much, caught the female Titan, and then keep joshing her with those spears. Yo, that was awesome. And, Erwin initials uh, Levy, or Volley. I'm calling her Volley. To attack the female titan. That area. Where she's covering it with her hands. And um, him and Mike, they go in there and attack it. That part in the manga, you really couldn't tell that it was hardening its skin. But here you could really tell it was like ice on her hands. I was like, wow, that is a great interpretation. I really love that. That was awesome. So, yeah, it was a really awesome interpretation. They also, like I said, it was spearing her full of those hooks, things in her body, in her blood area. That was kind of weird. Uh, we see Hanji uh, getting all crazy about it. And, um, they can't cut her hands because of the ice thing, the hardening of the skin. And Erwin realizes this, and then that's when he instructs someone get explosives. Yo, Erwin, man, this guy is possibly one of my favorite characters in the series. As far as leaders are concerned, yeah, he's my favorite. I, I might, to some extent, might put him over. Commander picks this. Picks this. Slightly. Just slightly. Just slightly. Just. Because he's just so. Oh, man. He's just willing to do anything. He's willing to do. Go by any means necessary to get the job done. This guy is so boss. Oh. Jesus. But yeah. We'll see another scene with Armin. Explain to Gene about what Commander Irwin is doing, what he's 
you know, doing, which is sacrificing a hundred of his men. Gets the job done. So they get the they're about to get the explosives to them. And let uh, Rivali starts talking to the female Titan, kind of saying all these different things and so on and so forth, egging her on, if you will. And that's when female Titan and I loved this scene. Listen, for someone who reads the manga, I am telling you this right now. I can express no words but to say that. Freaking epic. That female Titan screamed. And I swear to you, if this is how these kinds of Titans are going to sound like down the road, I am in for this, man. I'm so in. She just yelled. That was so epic to inform the other. At least it seemed like this yell for like a cry for help. A dying plea. And they realize this. I believe it's my Pete or one of the members of the service squads goes to Irwin saying we got incoming from like all directions. And apparently that was a stress call. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, come all these aberrant, deviant titans coming in. This scene was just as good because it resolved some issues I had with with what was going on in this in this scene. So these titans start coming in. Everybody out that are outside of the woods, you know, Mikasa and everyone else, we see um, Sasha. Yo, Sasha was so funny. She was like saying that it's a cry of an animal's, you know, saying it's far more dangerous, a hundred times more dangerous. And she's like freaking out over Mikasa to be careful. And then Mikasa realizes that, that uh, Sasha's correct on this as uh, in this desperate situation. So everybody's going in there. And try to take out these titans that are just running in. Eventually, they get to, to the female titan, titans, and the survey squad, the survey squad members that are in there with Erwin and Levy Rivali. They attack the titans that are coming in, but it is to no avail because they start eating a female titan. There were scenes in this scene in the manga that made me wonder, oh, these people are titans? But the anime has cleared that up. Because apparently when they were eating the female titan, the titans, blood from it splattered, I believe, on I think Hanji's hand and Erwin's face and I believe also Rivali. And it was smoking. And that's what it was. I was totally, totally confused in that part of the manga. But now my suspicions have been laid to rest because of the anime. Thank you, with Studio. Good job, good job. So, with this part, Owen pretty much says it's time to retreat. Because there's no way they're going to... You know, and we, it leads to them retreating, get the blue smoke, them all retreating, and Levy tells, uh, did I say Levy? I mean, Erwin informs Rivali, Levy, whatever, tell him, go uh, resupply with, with gas and your blades. And that's an order, so on and so forth. And they're on their way, and Aaron and his group are on their way as well to retreat and go back home. Now, we get a little small talk. <laughs> We're talking about Peter. First time as 
as a squad, um, part of the squad first mission, she peed her pants, pissed her pants or something. Small talk. So they're on their way. Notice someone shot up a smoke of green. And they're thinking, oh, that must be Captain Ravali. So they go there. Out of nowhere. I think the guy's name's Gultru. Get, get, his name is Luke. Gets attacked by someone. And then at the same time, we hear Raval, uh, Erwin, Karen Erwin saying that the possibility that the enemy is wearing our clothes. The city. Survey squad. Member. And then they show, it was kind of weird. The anime obviously kind of shadowed it a bit. But you did see, you know, Gertrude, that Gertrude, that's his name, Gertrude. His neck was like this. And he was dead. And that's where the episode ends. And I was like, I know this part. Okay, we're approaching something. But that's where the episode ends. Overall, five out of five people. You know me. I was, I was just blown away that even I got realized about something that I didn't even know from reading the manga. I was like, oh, so that's what that was. Totally mind blown. I was like, what? So it was blood? Um, ah. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just like a shock. That was totally shocking on. I was like, what the hell? That's what it was? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Totally flat back ass. Just, just totally. But yeah, five out of five. Uh, listen, people. Now, I told this already. I said I was going on vacation from September 3rd to September 9th, and I'll be back on the 10th. So, that means is, mm, when I come back, I don't know going to have to catch up on a few things. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, like, we'll see. We'll see, because I'm probably going to miss, I think I'm going to miss episode 22. That's the only episode I'm going to miss of Attack on Time. Shigeki no Kyoji. That's the only episode. So, what will happen is, days after I come back, on the 10th, I'll catch up what I missed, and I'll do, like, a quick, quick, Even, or, 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 when I come back, I'll probably do, like, I'll watch episode 22 and 20. And it'll be, like, a double episode. Just want to mention that. But, yeah. Awesome episode. Irwin, man. I love this. This guy is awesome. This guy is, like, yo. This guy. We'll do whatever it takes. It's bonafide. It's bonafide. So yeah. I'm Bobcat 922 See you guys later. Listen, people. Next two episodes. Ah, I don't want to say anything. I want to say. I want to say. But I can't. But trust me. Get that double... Uh, ply diapers. Get the diapers. Oops, I crap my pants. Because you guys are going to need it. You guys are going to need it. So yeah, I'm Bonka Nights 2. See you guys later. Female Titan.